Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Acer laptop and the exact model is an AN515-57-79 PB. That information can be found on the bottom. There's are lots of variation of the model and in this uh, video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can replace the RAM or remove the RAM and what are the combination of the RAM you can have in here and the maximum capacity. I made a really short video to show you how you can detect your maximum RAM capacity without using any programs. I'll leave that link in the video description. You can check it out if you need to get a secondary approval. Check that link out. And by the upgrading the RAM, you're not gonna do any modification or anything in the system, in the Windows. So pretty much just plug and play. I'm gonna go take you on a step-by-step -step how to do that. I'm gonna go over the tools I'll be using. First thing first, I'll use a workshop towel, always. But these are brand new laptop, I don't wanna scratch them, even if it's clear table. I'd rather put it on top of the workshop towel. Next, for our opening tool, I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set, as they have one of the best bits out there. These are made out of S2 class steel. And we're gonna be using a Phillips number one. And if you get a pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, just grab yourself a guitar pick, a metallic guitar pick, 0.3 millimeters. Guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, with all this on hand, we're gonna start removing all the screws on the bottom of the laptop. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. We start from one corner and go ahead and remove all of them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, once we remove all the screws, don't forget the one in the middle. Just double check everything. We wanna grab the laptop, let's do it from the front end so you guys can see it. We're gonna stick the guitar pick between the bottom cover and the palm rest just like there. And we just wanna twist it. You wanna hear tiny clicks in there. And then twist a little bit and then put your finger in there so it doesn't go back down. Work yourself along all the way to the left and right side, work yourself to the back corners in there. Usually when I do the front side, I'm gonna put it down. I'm gonna pull it up, I'm gonna do this side a little bit here. Just, I'm sticking about one or two millimeter, I'm not sticking the whole guitar pick in there. Just one or two millimeter. Once you pass the, what's called, the Ethernet port connector right there, then the rest should be really easy. And then if lift up from front, wiggle around, you're gonna hear these click noises. Those are the clips that are getting loose. You're not breaking anything. So there's a the bottom cover. And right away, you can see the RAM right here, and there's one extra RAM is uh, dim right here. If you purchase yours with an eight gig, this is how it will come with one extra dim, and the first one is gonna have a eight gig in there. People always say, okay, you should remove the battery. You do not need to remove the battery to do any RAM upgrade, hard drive upgrade, or M.2 removal, or anything like that, unless you'd want to do a repaste on cleaning. I've made a video for that. But if you want to upgrade the RAM, and you want to be paranoid, and you want to remove the battery, which I don't recommend you guys to do it, you just remove the gaffer's tape over the here. Now, the battery cable is right in here. You don't want to pull this one. You wanna put your fingers on the side of this clip right in here, and then you wanna pull it towards the battery evenly, and the connector will come out loose. Put it back in, make sure you evenly, don't put it sideways in, make sure it has to go evenly inside the jack, and all the way, pinch it right in there. And I'm gonna do this video without removing the battery, and I never do it, and it's fine. To remove the RAM, to remove the RAM, all you need to do is to remove, push this trigger to the right side and this one to the left side, and the RAM will pop out in 45 degree angle. So I'm gonna grab my fingers, I'm just gonna pull them away, uh, longer, and you're gonna see right there, the RAM came out in 45 degree angle. 
Now all you need to do is to grab it in the same direction and pull it backward in the same 45 degree angle. These are a DDR4 RAM. This is a 3200 uh, megahertz and eight gig. You can put a 16 gig in here and 16 gig in here. So you can have a 32 gig or you can do an eight and eight. Doesn't matter what kind of combination you can have in it. If you have a lane, another four gig lying around, just put an eight and four, that will be fine. To put the new RAM in, make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch right on the dim. There's a little notch right there. So if I try to put it the other way around, it will not simply go. It doesn't matter if the sticker is facing up or down. If you want to put it this way, it's flipped over, so it goes in. So all you need to do is to bring it down in 45 degree inside the jack, pinch it right in there in 45 degree angle, and make sure you have this angle right there. And simply you want to push it towards the motherboard and you want to hear these triggers clicking like that. They open and click automatically. So remove this one, pull it towards yourself. Here again in 45 degrees, sometimes they go in without any hassle, like nice and soft. And sometimes you need to pinch them a little bit to go all the way in and then simply towards the motherboard. All right, and that's how you remove or add any RAM stick that you need for your laptop. And if you have disconnected the battery, plug it back in. To put the cover back on, simply just grab it straight over, bring it down, squeeze the back side down. You want to hear that you click right there on the side. You want to click those ones down, front end, on on the front right there. You want to hear those nice click sounds. That means the power is all the way in. And you want to double check, make sure every corner everything is flat if it's not you just want to open up the screen you don't want to pinch it with the screen you just pinch it okay make sure you always work on a flat space so if it's not flat and you push down you can break your screen so and that's the one also if and the last thing down here would be to just put the screws and one more tip if you put the new ram in on the second slot if you let's say you have an 8 gig and you put another 8 gig in there and you power on, if it doesn't show anything on the screen after five to 10 seconds, then you wanna power it off and just switch the spot space. And then you just wanna flip them, uh, flip them the RAM, put the new RAM on the first dim and the second one on the old one on the second dim. And then power on, wait five to 10 seconds and it should boot up with no problem. You don't have to put the back cover on to power on the laptop, you can just power on the laptop without putting anything on the, the back cover on so you don't have to screw and unscrew all that every single time to test the RAMs. I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, you know what to do. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws here.